from shopping strips to city centres, small cars are still a hugely relevant and important part of the Australian new car marketplace. Our three finalists here, well, they all come from different countries, but they all take a slightly different approach to the formula that sees them as best small car. Judges will be looking at space and practicality, features and value, and of course, all important, operating fuel consumption. Now in this video, we're gonna give you a summary of our three finalists here, and then an in-depth look at the car that takes the crown for the Drive Car of the Year 2022, Best Small Car. Last year's Small Car of the Year winner deserves its place among the finalists. It remains the number one selling small car in the country and for very good reason. Thanks to its hybrid powertrain, the Corolla is far and away the most economical of our three finalists, returning an indicated four litres per 100 kilometres over the course of Drive Car of the Year testing. The Corolla's rivals consumed almost twice as much fuel. But while there's no doubt buyers value fuel economy, this time around, it wasn't enough to get the Corolla over the line. The judges marking it down for its practicality and comfort. With a meagre 217 litres, the Corolla's boot was far and away the smallest of our finalists, the Golf offering 374 litres, and the Hyundai i30, 395 litres. Second row comfort also proved an Achilles heel, the Corolla's back seat not as strong as that of its rivals. But judges praise the Corolla for its fuss-free motoring and Toyota's small car delivers exactly what is expected of it. Punchy enough performance without being silly, a comfortable ride and exceptional fuel economy. The second best selling car in the segment is also the most diverse. The Hyundai i30 range straddles the small car spectrum from cheap and cheerful to performance hot hatch. The judges applauded its practicality the i30's boot at 395 litres is the largest of our three contenders. Also impressive is the effort that Hyundai has made in tuning the i30's suspension specifically to our local road conditions. It really makes a noticeable difference and underscores just how important Australia is as a market for the Korean brand. A midlife facelift breathes some freshness into the second best-selling car in the segment, while an update to the i30's infotainment system has also raised the bar. But while the judges were impressed with the i30's packaging and ride, they came away less enthused about its fuel consumption, which at 7.8 litres per 100 kilometres proved the thirstiest of our three finalists. The Toyota Corolla couldn't match its rivals in our controlled brake test, taking over 42 metres to come to a complete stop from 100 kilometres an hour. The Hyundai i30 fared much better, stopping the tape at 37.22 metres, over 5 metres better than the Corolla. But the king of the brake test was the Volkswagen Golf, its 35.76 metres, easily the best on the day. And the winner is the Volkswagen Golf. Hardly surprising that Volkswagen has released a small car that is as good as this new Golf is. Fantastic, really tough competition that we've had this year. And the Golf comes out on top. It's got a really compelling mix of value, quality, drivability, and space efficiency as well, especially against the rest of the vehicles at the top of this segment. Let's take a closer look at why the judges thought that this Volkswagen Golf is the best small car for Drive Car of the Year 2022. There was no hesitation from the judges in awarding the victory to the Volkswagen Golf in a unanimous decision. Some categories spark heated debate amongst the panel, but there was no such debate here, every judge awarding the Golf the win. At the top of the judges' assessment was the driving experience with the Golf the clear winner over its rivals from behind the wheel. There were several key standout areas for the judges who praised the Golf's blend of European styling and engineering. The judges were also fans of Volkswagen's decision to replace the outgoing Golf's dual-clutch automatic transmission in favour of a conventional eight-speed automatic that resulted in a driving experience that is far more forgiving. Judges took a particular liking to its simplistic interior, its super refined drive and its lovely build quality with nice materials. Well done Volkswagen! One of the key features of the new Golf is this redesigned interior which has really embraced minimalism. Everything is very clean, there's no 
mess of buttons or switches. Some people like that, some people don't. Personally, I'm a fan. Everything is just very simple, it's very elegant, it's cleanly laid out and easy to use. There's no confusion here. In terms of safety, the Golf is equipped with a full suite of technology that Volkswagen calls IQ Drive, while eight airbags cover both rows of occupants. The Golf range wears a five-star safety rating from ANCAP. No matter which Golf you choose outside of the hot hatch GTI model, power comes from Volkswagen's 1.4-litre turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine. With 110 kilowatts and 250 newton metres, all sent to the front wheels via a new eight-speed conventional automatic transmission, the Golf has enough get up and go for most buyers' needs. A word to the wise, however, the Golf requires premium unleaded petrol at the Bowser. Volkswagen Golf really is a fantastic car to drive and that doesn't matter whether you're rolling around town like we are now or you're heading off on a longer drive and that's key for this small car segment because plenty of families can only afford one and those families need this vehicle to be capable of road trips and do it easily as well. Volkswagen Golf absolutely does that. Seat comfort's excellent, visibility is really good, interior space and storage is really practical and this is a good place to spend your time whether you're driving around town or out on the open road. It really is a worthy winner of best small car for Drive Car of the Year 2022. Tech savvy buyers will love Volkswagen's new infotainment system that's anchored by a slick 10 inch infotainment touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as wireless smartphone charging. A new digital instrument display configurable to show any number of data is as good as any we've seen. Interior presentation was also a highlight, although not everyone will be fans of the minimalist approach taken by Volkswagen. But in terms of how it looks and feels, the Golf was certainly a cut above its fellow finalists, coming out a clear winner in the small car segment. Well, this is the all new eighth generation Volkswagen Golf, which means that it is the best of what Volkswagen can do right now. And it basically has to see this car through the next five or six years. Volkswagen will make enhancements as it goes, but this is peak Golf as it stands today which means you get a tremendously modern and very slick cabin. As you can see, the implementation is one of minimalism. There aren't many switches here on the console or here on the dash itself. Everything is done by these two glossy uh, high resolution LCD screens. Not only do they give you uh, touchscreen access to, to all of the car's keys functions, but they do support Android Auto and Apple CarPlay overlay as well. There's smart use of materials like this cool uh, metallic accent here. The seats are nice, comfortable and well supportive, again with nice materials. And there's some clever uh, storage items as well. A phone charging bay here, a pen holder, a cup holder and a key holder with a cup holder which will actually adapt for the size of your cup. A storage net and big bins in the doors all contribute to the Golf's level of practicality. And this is an area where the judges did focus on the small cars and it's why the Golf has taken the win of the Drive Car of the Year Best Small Car. Now, it would be remiss of me not to show you my favorite feature of the interior of the Golf, the Jedi Mind Trick. The infotainment responds to gestures and you can simply Obi-Wan your way through the menus as these aren't the droids you're looking for. Now, this might be a small car, but that doesn't mean it can't be practical in the back. And as you can see, there is quite a lot of room in the back of the Volkswagen Golf. I'm six foot three. I've got decent knee room, decent toe room, and pretty impressive headroom. The seat itself is very comfortable. Again, the materials from the front have been translated in the back. And in terms of uh, amenities, you've got vents and even temperature control here, as well as a pair of USB-C ports to charge your devices. There's a center armrest with cup holders, and this even acts as a ski port if you do have longer loads. Sensible. So the boot on the Golf is actually a reasonable size and it was an area where the judges were paying particular attention to the small car category this year. Now, as noted, there is a ski port that allows you to fold larger items through and the seat will split 40 to 60. There are luggage hooks under the floor as a space saver spare tire and a subwoofer. And in terms of context, you can easily fit a large suitcase in and perhaps room for a couple of small soft bags. The small car segment continues to thrive in Australia despite the onslaught of high-riding SUVs and utes. 
That makes for a competitive segment with plenty of choice for buyers. Singling out one model to anoint as the best of the best is no easy task. But this year, the clear winner was the new Volkswagen Golf, which has upped the ante in terms of what a small car should be. With a level of refinement that's hard for its rivals to match, the undoubtedly European styling of the Golf sets it apart from its mainstream competitors. That it's also well equipped and with an interior that wouldn't look out of place in more premium German brands is just the icing on the small car cake. The original Golf set the standard for what a small car should be and while plenty of rivals have tried to emulate the formula, Volkswagen keeps moving the goalposts. This year, the new Golf was a clear winner in plenty of key areas from its refined driving experience to its stylish exterior design and interior presentation it continues to set the benchmark in the small car segment. And that's why it's our 2022 Small Car of the Year. As always, don't forget to hit like if you've enjoyed the video, click on subscribe to stay up to date with all our Car of the Year video content and our regular video reviews. And of course, for all the winners in the 2022 Drive Car of the Year awards, go to drive.com.au.